with gold trim fighting out of Houston, Texas by way of Jalisco, Mexico. He weighed in at 146 pounds. His record stands at 10 wins, three losses and one draw with four of his wins coming by way of knockout introducing Noe Skinny Boy. the ring fighting out of the blue corner this eight round attraction wearing white trunks with green and brown trim fighting out of and representing his home of roseland new jersey he weighed in at 146 and one half pounds he is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with a record of seven wins no losses four wins coming by way of knockout here is the undefeated young protege of boxing known as white magic introducing Vito Milnicki Jr. Oh. And our third man to the ring now to give instructions, Gerard White. Gentlemen, we're over the rooms in the dressing room. This is good. This is good. Touch him up. Let's go to work, guys. Let's go, man. Closed captioning is available for tonight's telecast. If you'd like to hear the broadcast in Spanish, you can click over to the simulcast on the Fox Deportes app. And there is Vito Milnicki Jr., again out of Roseland, New Jersey, which is actually in the middle of the state. Uh, although it sounds, Joe Goosen, like it's something Bruce Springsteen would be singing about, right? Like a boardwalk, <laughs> carousel, and all that. But he's not from there. Uh, but he's very much a New Jersey guy, and we're underway here in round number one. So, what do you, Joe, what are your thoughts? I mean, you've got a, you're watching this. You had this kid in camp. What do you look for? What do you hope for? from Vito tonight? Well, you know, just to keep building off of uh, his last fight, that's what you want to do with fighters. You want to build off their last fight, their last win. And I already like his body language already. He's see, he, he worked on his defense a lot where he feels comfortable being in front of a guy. Right there, he drew his hands back nice. He's looking to parry. We're with the parrying, blocking, head, head movement right there, a little up and down with the knees. And this way you can get in there and land some power shots, especially when a guy gives up ground like you know what he's doing right now. So, see that nice little slip right there? And, and pretty soon he'll start countering off that slip. Good left hook he just threw there. It didn't land, but it was a nice sharp thought. Joe, I look at Melnicki. He, he basically came out to uh, university for a semester. <laughs> and, and he uh, uh, learned a lot because you're right. His body looks a lot better. He almost looks like a professional, yeah. professional yeah. right now. So, yeah. I like what he's doing. I like his... Uh, his body language, I like his vibe right now, it's good. Hey, Lopez there with a nice hook off that right hand of earlier. He, he's in here as well, uh, coming out of, as uh, Heidi mentioned, uh, some dire circumstances of frozen house. Uh, but he's here and ready to fight. Gets right to the, the bubble in the hotel. Probably relieved just to have a warm hotel room. Even if they say you got to stay there for five days, you'd be like, sure, I can do that. Looking to bring some bread home to the family, certainly. And he's uh, up against the unbeaten prospect. Yeah, and and uh, uh, Lopez threw a right hand to the body of Milanecki, and Milanecki quickly countered with a straight right hand. Yeah, that impressed me right there, so I, I think that's a sure move. You know, the, the, Joe, I'll just jump in. I, the yeah. pace is different, though. Lennox, remember, and you and I were just calling it together. That was back in Dallas and on the, on the Spence uh, Garcia undercard, and there was a real pace to Milnicki in, in that first round. Do you remember that? It's a little different now. Yeah. You know, every fight is different. You know, you, you want to size a guy up. This is an eight-rounder. There's a 34-year-old man in there with him. He's 18 years old. Um, so he's got a lot of rounds to work with right now. But what I like what he's doing is using this round to not just move around the ring a lot. He's pressing uh, Lopez, but he's doing it with uh, a little panache, as we would say. I like what he's doing. It's called the quiet yeah. press. Right. And a good left hook. He just landed right there. Saying so it all shot up the middle. And, uh, you know, you know, Talking to Lopez. Lopez is very respectful of music. He said that he yeah. throws some good punches and he's had some good fights. So he's going in there, you know, realizing that Nicky, he's a good uh, fighter. Final 15 seconds of round number one, scheduled for eight. We get Jesus Ramos, 19 years old and also unbeaten, up next. Leading up to the main event, Anthony Durrell, Kyron Davis, underway in L.A. Now we're through round one here. And this is like, I, I, I throw in the age there, Joe and Lennox, because it's like talking about Fernando Tatis in baseball. It's like, this guy's young. These guys, I mean, 18-year-old kid. Lennox, where were you in, where were you in your development at the age of 18? I was uh, winning the brooch 
junior championships in Santo Domingo. So there you go. I was an amateur champion. When did you turn pro? How old were you, Lennox? Uh, I would say about 19, 20. Oh, wow, just after that. Wow, okay. I mean, these things we can look up, but the fact that you paused <laughs> made me feel better. All right, Lennox isn't sure either. Right? That was a long time. <laughs> no, Lennox, believe me, I understand. Uh, but then again, Lennox is a blue chipper, Joe. He's too honest to say that. But uh, still, I mean, uh, this is a teenager fresh out of high school, and there's a lot of years in which he can learn and learn on the job, get better and better. There's a long way to go here for Vito. You can spend a lot of time in the gym, and the gym is a necessary part of this whole process and you got to put in the rounds good body shot by Vito um, but you, you can learn more in six rounds than you can in three months in the gym and there's nothing like uh, getting in that ring getting the hip gear off small gloves and fighting with the full adrenaline going right Lennox? yeah I mean you know what happens with that is because you want to you've, you've been sparring against great guys now you want to prove you want to go out there and, and prove what you've learned show what you've learned. Hey, Lennox, do you know how old you were when you turned pro? How old? 23. <laughs> so you have to take four years, Lennox. It's all right. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, I'm a Okay, what age did I go to the first Olympics? Tell me, tell me my age when I went to the first Olympics. We're, we're, we're working on that. Big <laughs> tell him because he can't. Oh, oh, oh yeah, he can go. And down goes Lopez. Oh, oh, oh. Beautiful shot. Ah. That right hand Six. came out from nowhere. Yeah, and he's, but Vito's really Eight. playing his hand okay. real cool right now. He's just really, really ah. focused. And uh, he's got to be patient here. You don't want to just bum rush a guy when you hurt him. Take your time. He's really been patient throughout this fight. That, that was a, a bolt of lightning with that right hand. And Lopez, again, experienced guy. He had no choice, just taken right off his feet. Yeah, you know, I was told a long time ago, when you hurt a guy like that, take your time, go to the body, because they're going to be... Yeah, that's going to the body nicely there, too, because you're right, Joe. He, he digs back in, he's in there. He can scrap, he's experienced. Again, he's got 14 fights. He's in there to fight as well, even though clearly he got his bell rung there. Yeah, this is a situation when you put your left hand down like Lopez. Yeah, it's not really doing them any good being low. It's, it's, it actually would be an advantage if he kept it up to protect himself. Yeah, he almost got hit with that right hand or that left hand as well just a second ago. Good good good. That was uh, yeah, a very good round. And if you're wondering about the work rate, which I was, uh, that answers all questions. Let's go to the corner now. That's Muhammad Abdul Salam in the corner with Mil Nicky. I just need a little bit more. Okay, okay, okay. I just need a little bit more to stay. Okay. Right. You're looking for the, the perfect counter. Make him shoot the jab and then give me the counter. Okay. But if you're using the stick, he gets desperate, throw the shot, then we rock over and let it go. Okay. All right? And all right let's go back now and watch the replays we come back and he's shooting out with the, and that right hand coming right over the what top what that was is milanek rolled he rolled from his left under the jab to his right and came out see that's not an easy thing to do he did do it in that first fight you had a replay of that and here's a little slip and go but uh yeah he rolled under that jab and came out on the other side and dropped that right hand that was a nice move we'll watch it in real speed see how fast that right hand was that's fast. Yeah, yeah, that that good. is fast. Yeah. And that was that was well said by uh, Professor Joe Goosen. Well, thank you. But that's something we do work on. That's, yeah. that's a that's a, a move and one of several moves that you you got to work on when you're inside and you get your head in in that pocket there. You can't keep it there. How does that you feel? The fact that you worked on it and he did it. Well, no. I listen. I, I always feel great when anybody I work with does well. And, but I got to tell you, he was a great student. See, that's it. He was determined to learn all this stuff, and he uh, he, he was one of my best students ever. I really enjoyed working with him. You know. And we're in the third round right now. Heidi Androl is here as well. Heidi, what do you have? You just want to piggyback on what Joe was saying. I spoke to Vito's father yesterday who told me, you know, you become great when you can close the show. And that's really what they want to see from Vito. So we'll see if he starts to press here. Um, in terms of Joe, you know, he said it, that was the best six months that he spent. And he also said he wants to, you know, tell you, Joe, that they gave you credit for the chicken parm. But it really wasn't as good as theirs. They will give you credit for the California tacos. <laughs> Right. See, I was, I was, I was trying to do the Italian thing at, in the kitchen, and I, I, I came pretty close. I mean, I, I think, the, I think Vito liked it. Uh, the dad was a little bit harder to please. <laughs> 
Well, yeah, look, you're competing against quite a bit, the Milnickis in uh, New Jersey. <laughs> and some good hooks there by Milnicki as well, just as Heidi was starting off and saying he's going to try to close the show. That'll have a wilting effect on Lopez. Yeah, you see what Milnicki's doing as well? He's giving it a little bit pressure and putting Lopez closer to the rope so he can escape. And I know he's going to come across with a, uh, a good combination right when Lopez is against the ropes. And Lopez is not really throwing any punches. He's kind of flipping his hand out there. That's the wrong thing to do. Well, that uh, right hand is quick as well from Milnicki. That's the one that he dropped him with in round two. And uh, here, that is fast. That, that he just He's showing a lot of patience here. There's a right hand again. Lopez fires back. So a little spunk left. And, and that'll make you not throw a lot of punches because when every time you try something, you get countered, it'll yeah. make you... It'll make you uh, well, like, I, just got like I said, yeah. Lopez, every time he throws that left jab out there, he drops his hand. He's now, like he now has him hurt on the ropes, hanging away with the right hand. He's trapped in the corner, nowhere to go. Tries to slide out, and he does. But still, back in the other corner. Another right hand lands another. I like what Vito's doing. He's staying patient. He's not going hog wild here. He's, he's, turning, he's turning up the speed, but he's staying under control still. And he's not being a headhunter. No, he's, he's, you know, he's throwing good combinations to the body and to the head. Clean hook before this is not going to be able to mix it up, and Lopez is hurt, wilting against the ropes into the corner, and now he's trapped. Vito Mickey with a chopping right hand again. Yeah, he's, he's has his man hurt. Another right hand lands. Ooh, boy, now to the body, hooks to the head, and a beautiful combination. And it's over. That's it. That's how you finish it. Oh, the referee stopped that. Gerald White steps in. Lopez isn't complaining. Gerald White explaining. You know, I, I I don't I don't object to that stoppage at all. I think Not White all. was going in, and you could see the body language and the amount of energy that Lopez had at that point. We knew where it was going. Uh, Joe, I don't know about you, I'm I'm fine with that. Oh, 120 percent, 120 percent. There was still about 20 seconds left, and you could see that uh, Lopez was getting turned around by right hands. Then Milanecki was dropping, you know, left hooks to the body, left hooks to the head. He was really off combination. It wasn't going to get any better. Trust me. Vito Milenki with a knockout victory. He was patient, took his time, and then when he had his man hurt, again, Noe Lopez came in, came out with a bit of a spark, but it just got beaten out of him by that baby-faced kid right there, now 18 years old. Vito Milnicki coming in unbeaten. He will leave 8-0. We'll get the particulars when we come back as we are underway. Team sensation number one, number two on the way.